Hello everyone, my name is Leo and with this video we will share the guitar gear news of the last month. Let's start! First of all, Boss has released a new delay pedal, which is called SD3000D. It is a reissue of the good old 80s classic rack mount unit, very famous even because used by Eddie Van Allen. In fact, actually, we have two versions of the same pedal, the standard one and the Eddie Van Allen edition, which has some more options to replicate the famous Eddie wet dry rig, where you have a dry signal in the middle and then the effects on the left and right. The Eddie edition basically provides specific presets and expanded I.O to recreate the dual SD3000 setup at the heart of the Eddy 3 Cabinets live stage guitar sound. The original unit had a specific sound, which was the result of the interaction of all its analog components, like operational amps, anti-aliasing filters and the specific ADA converters. The result was a unit with all the imperfections we love from vintage gear, imperfections that are well sounding for human ears and that could be better defined as a character, the character of a specific unit. For instance, with the saturation, imperfections in the delay repetitions, etc. This new revised SD3000D replicates the behavior of the old unit with all its lovely imperfections, but in a smaller and compact unit. And of course, it is much cheaper compared to the original price of the rack unit, which price was above 2 grand back in 1983, when it was launched. By the way, if in 1983 you wanted to operate in stereo, you need to buy two SD3000. In a nutshell, the SD3000 provides us with two fully independent delays, each with independent parameters, mono or stereo modulation and panning. It offers flexible internal routing and it is adaptable to both mono and stereo rigs. There are 100 memories for storing our favorite setups and it includes MIDI support to integrate his vintage voices with any stage or studio setup. Coming to the EVH edition, first of all, Eddie pioneered the three cabinets wet dry wet setup in the early 90s. Using a dry path for a single amplifier in the center cab and left and right cabs amplified with wet only delay effects for a wide multidimensional sound stage. Basically, with the multiple outputs and versatile routing modes in the SD3000 EVH, it is possible to recreate this setup with our own amps. In fact, if you compare the EVH edition with the standard one, you can notice that it has more connections at our disposal. Furthermore, it features eight EVH presets assessed via a dedicated panel switch. The first four presets are designed for a wet-dry-wet wet setup and I represent the actual presets Ed used in his live rig. The next four presets provide the same sounds adapted for a standard stereo amplifier setup. And the price is around 500 bucks for the standard unit and 600 for the EVH edition. So these are pretty expensive delays, but I have to say that I'm really attracted by this type of units being a delay pedal fan myself. Soldano has released the SLO 30 combo, which is basically an SLO 100 downsized to 30 watt, like the SLO 30 head, but with the Celestion G12H150 Redback speaker included. It features 512AX7 preamp tube and two 6L6, like the SLO 30 head providing all the Soldano juicy tones that we all love. The dimensions are the one in the screen and it weighs 
25 kilos. Now, the most interesting thing of this amp, in my opinion, is the cab that uh, Mr. Soldano has chosen. A cab I didn't know and that I think is pretty interesting. Now, you know that typically when you mic a cab, you put the mic pretty close to one of its cones. And therefore, for recording purposes, a 4x12 may be not needed, as we are micing just one cone. In fact, for recording purposes, I typically just use 1x12 speakers that are even much smaller compared to 4x12 and therefore they allow me to have more cabinets at my disposal in the same space, which is nice. This red back speaker is cool in my opinion for two reasons. The first one is that in terms of tone it should be a sort of mix between a greenback and a vintage 30 leaning more toward the greenback speaker. That is actually something I'm searching for. And the second reason is that it handles 150 watt, so we can have a 1x12 also with our 100 watt head. I'm pretty curious to try out one and I have ordered one so I will let you know. And now let's talk about amp modeling pedal boards as we have two pretty cool new products here. The first one is the brand new Flamma FX150. This could be considered the little brother of the FX200 that I have already reviewed in my channel. Compared to its bigger brother, it has one less foot switch and a smaller form factor. Judging from the photo I have, it should have the same I.O and tech specs of the FX200, just with one less foot switch as aforementioned, a smaller form factor and of course a cheaper price. It should gonna be released within June and uh, by the way, subscribe and ring the bell as one of these units is coming to my studio and I will do a full review of the pedal board. The other new amp modeling pedal board just released is the Valeton GP200JR which basically seems to be the Valeton answer to the Flamma FX150 or vice versa. This is the smaller brother of the GP200 having just 3 foot switches compared to the 8 of the regular GP200. I think it fits nicely in the Valeton GP200 family of pedal boards and it offers a nice alternative to the GP200 even better in some aspects uh, compared to the GP200 LT. In fact, it maintains the full XLR balanced out of the GP200 compared to the TRS jacks available in the GP200 LT, having furthermore the expression pedal included, where the LT does not have it. The only cons of the unit I would mention, compared to the other Valeton solution, is that the JR misses MIDI in, which is a kind of a bummer even considering that you have only three foot switches at your disposal. Other than that, the unit retains the same features of all the other modelers with 11 effect blocks, 70 amps and caps, etc. So here we have another component of the Valeton GP family, which is composed by four units with slight little variations each from the other in order to fit with all the needs of us buyers. Neural DSP has released the Neural DSP Tom Morello plugin. You know that Tom uses a JCM800 paired with a PV 4x12 cab and he is famous for his use of the Digitech Whammy pedal, used for pitch shifting a guitar, creating some very trippy sounds. The Whammy can also be used as an harmonizer, effectively tuning one guitar into two. So the plugin uses the classic neural plugin layout but focused on Tom gear with a simulation of that JCM800 plus a pretty complete cabinet section. That is one of the features I appreciate the most of the neural suite. Furthermore, all the Tom effects are included, especially the Whammy effects with the dive bomb and Whammy One pedal simulations that, in my opinion, are worth the price of the plugin alone. 
As usually, we can try the plugin for free for 15 days, which is nice. And if you are a fan of Tom Sounds or you love the JCM 800 tones, well, this is a must-have plugin. Another cool new pedal I would like to mention is the new TC Electronic Infinite Mini Sample Sustainer. It is essentially the same effects as the original Infinite Sustainer in a smaller format and without the FX type rotary knob of the original pedal. This function can still be accessed via tone print technology and sent via Bluetooth from a smartphone. It is also missing the two mini toggle switches of the original pedal, offering, on the other hand, a smaller form factor at a cheaper price. This is one of those pedals which may be very useful in a modern pedal board and allows us to increase our creativity and expressiveness. Or at least this is the effect these type of pedals have on my playing. That's all for the today video. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe and ring the bell and see you soon. Bye bye.